was honestly scared to review sunscreen on this channel. Hey you guys, it's Shandera. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So in today's video, we will be doing the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry, Dry Touch SPF 70 face sunscreen versus the Sunbum face 70 sunscreen. So we're gonna see which one you should buy. With that being said, let's go ahead and swatch both products. So here is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch. Um, it's leaking, honey. Now, the sunburn, you gotta shake up, so let's shake it up really well. I mean, Neutrogena should have said shake that up, too, because it was leaking. So this one, I mean, this is just like a messy goop. Did it mix? Y'all, it mixed with the Neutrogena. I mean, just <laughs> water down. Water down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this video already starting off messy, you guys. I mean, this video is going to get real messy. I just have a feeling. Light, subtle, scented scent. It sort of smells like plants. I mean, <laughs> plants. <laughs> now, let's try smell the samba. I mean, they say shake it up, but every time you, like, shake it up, I mean, it's like shaking up El Paso salsa. <laughs> Every time you shake it up, it's still liquidy. Like, I don't understand. I shake it up all the time, and it's still just li look it. So I don't understand why it needs to be shaken up. I, I don't get it. This one smells like absolutely nothing. So 9 out of 10 is probably unscented. I mean, this is just a mess. This is just going to be a ghetto video. <laughs> I just don't know what to say. I'm just like, oh, 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 don't get above my mouth. So there we go. Oh, my God. This is a, <sighs> you guys. And that wasn't even a lot in this one. I may need to add more sun bum to be fair. Do y'all think I'm being fair or no? Uh, look it. You got to do what you got to do in this world. I tried, okay? I tried. It's a lot going on. I was honestly scared to review sunscreen on this channel. I've been getting so many people requesting sunscreen videos. And I'm like, do I really want to review them? <laughs> on the channel. These YouTube skincare streets are treacherous, honey. You know, if you don't talk about the UVA and the UVB rays in the sunscreen, they don't like you. They want to write seven paragraph dissertations in the comment section. <laughs> you got to talk about the cancer, even though half of them eating the plumped up cancerous chickens and not saying nothing about the genetically modified foods they eat. They got something to say about the sunscreen. And this is all I have to say. Um, I'm going to just lather myself in this cancerous sunscreen and let me explain to you why. Half of y'all out there complaining about the sunscreen is eating genetically modified chickens and y'all don't have nothing to say. And if you lie and tell me you're not eating genetically modified chickens, unless you're vegan, but if you lie or vegetarian, but if you lie and tell me you're not, I'm going to say, did you recall that there's a chicken shortage and chicken is high dollar? Okay, so y'all are eating them plumped up juicy chickens, okay? Them GMOs are real. And I don't hear none of y'all say, but as soon as it comes to sunscreen, y'all want to get loud in the comments. <laughs> so please, on this channel, um, I'm going to just, don't, don't ask me about the cancers, what I think about it. Um, I don't have time for all that mess, okay? That's not how I get my clicks and views, fear migrant. And let's just say, hypothetically, you vegan, right? And you not eating a genetically modified ch uh, chicken. Some of y'all is eating that vegan, vegetarian, processed food. Now, for the plant-based based vegans who are all holier than thou slash hippies, the hippies ain't wearing sunscreen 9 out of 10. And they dousing their faces in a lavender oil. And they see nothing wrong with that. And some of them have really great skin by doing that. Okay? And then the other half is not even buying this sunscreen. So, I don't know. They buying, like, natural mineral sunscreen. So, they don't have anything to worry about. The holistic skincare community slash green and beauty ain't buying this stuff anyway. And laughing at the messy skincare community who tried the dragon for years and now they're concerned about cancer causing sunscreen filters. I mean, the this is why I like this. <laughs> I mean, the contradictions is hilarious, but you know this video about to get dead to life from the skincare nerds, because you know, stating the obvious of the whole contradictions is bad. <laughs> 
That's why I don't get my clicks and views. <laughs> So this is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer, and this is the Sunbone. What do you guys think? I will say, the Neutrogena one does give me very chalky vibes, chalky tees, when I was actually rubbing the sunscreen into my skin consistently. It's been 20 minutes, and this is the Neutrogena side of my face, and this is the Sunbone side of my face. I'm going to go ahead and do a close-up. Here's Neutrogena. What do you guys think? And here is Sun Bomb. I mean, Sun Bomb. <laughs> I'm just shocked. Um, and here is my chin. Um, let me look in the mirror. Um, we have a lot to discuss, so let's talk about it. I actually like the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch. It's one of my favorite sunscreens and I've used it for a very long time. But as I was testing both of these sunscreens, I was honestly amazed that Sunbum was actually better. It was kind of upsetting because I was really championing for Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch because it's literally one of my favorite sunscreens. But for me personally, it left more of a white cast. It had a worst aftertaste in my mouth as opposed to the Sun Bum sunscreen. Also, because I do do anywhere between seven to ten steps in my skincare routine, especially when I'm getting the acne. <laughs> <laughs> Sunbomb sunscreen didn't flake on me at all, while the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch completely flaked on me. I was really shocked about that. Even with the Sunbomb sunscreen consistency of not being creamy, just a very liquid formula, I was expecting it to leave my skin chalky, a horrible white cast. I was expecting all of that when I first tried this sunscreen. And for the past months I've been using this sunscreen, it hasn't done that at all. I am really shocked about that. It does make it hard to control the amount you are going to use on your face. And because this sunscreen is a little more, like this sunscreen is $10, whereas in the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch is about anywhere between $7 to $8. And you'll plus tax, you'll pay about $10. With the Sunbun, plus tax, you'll pay about $11 or $12. So there's like... A two dollar three dollar difference in both sunscreens even with that I still felt you're using a little bit more of the sunbun because it's so you can't control how much you put in your hand like for me I've, I've been having a hard time controlling it I mean if you get measurement spoons and do it like that but I mean who's doing that I mean then we'll be on the episode of you know the cheap <laughs> the cheap show you know where they coupon and do everything to save a dollar <laughs> the Neutrogena sunscreen tends to leave like a white film so just be careful with that especially if you know you're in the sun you on a date with a guy you never met before I mean the pandemic over we dating again <laughs> you're on the date you talking honey girl you know you know the first few days you don't want to show him your true color so you know <laughs> Make sure you wipe with your sunscreen on, especially with the Neutrogena Ultra Share Dry Touch. With the Sun Bum, you really don't have that problem. I never had an issue with constantly talking and just the white stuff all over the mouth. But that Neutrogena, girl, white stuff all over the mouth. <laughs> The Neutrogena Ultra Share, it actually dried down quicker than the Sun Bum, which completely shocked me because, like I mentioned, the Sun Bum is more of a liquid texture where Neutrogena is a very creamy texture. And it didn't dry down at all. So that was something I was also shocked about when using both products. The dry touch will definitely dry your face out and sort of make you flake with sunscreen and get very itchy and irritated. So girl, you know, you on a date with this sunscreen, take a mist. <laughs> I need a mist now, but you know, just take a mist. Keep refreshing it as you go you with your girlfriends. But you know, when you with girls, they kind of, you know, if you got a good girlfriend, she'll hook you up and be like, girl, you, you looking a mess, you know. But the men, they just look at you and don't say nothing. <laughs> they get bad when you be looking in the mirror, even though they looking at you crazy. <laughs> you guys let me stop with that being said those are all my final thoughts i like 
like them both. I've always liked Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch. This is the SPF of 70. So, you know, it's going to be a little more different than the consistency of 30 or under 50. With that being said, you guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Have you tried both of these face sunscreens? Let me know. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you thumbs up this video and make sure you're following me on all my social media sites. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in our next video. Bye you guys. Mwah.